So back in 2007, 2006, I think actually, a guy called Shinya Yamanaka and his team identified a series of genes, which are now called the Yamanaka factors, that can turn back the clock inside cells. And if we put these genes into mice, if we leave them turned on permanently, it's very bad news for the mice. They get a lot of these stem cells. Stem cells are very powerful in terms of being able to become any cell in the body, but they're very, very bad at being a liver cell and detoxifying your blood or being a heart cell and beating. And so what that means is if these, um, if these genes are constantly active, the mice die of organ failure very sadly. But they found that if they give these genes in a special form where they can be activated with a drug and then they turned on these genes effectively at weekends, they turned them on two days a week and then five days off, they found that they could rejuvenate the cells in the mice and keep them healthier, but without having them turning all back into stem cells and losing their cell identity. And actually, this is one of the hottest areas of aging biology at the moment. Some of you might have heard of Altos Labs, which is a $3 billion, quote unquote, startup. I'm not sure with that kind of endowment you can call it a startup, <laughs> but it's backed by a number of people, including uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, the, obviously the guy who founded Amazon. Um, and hopefully $3 billion is enough to have a serious go at turning this from something which works you know, in mice in the lab to something that maybe we could use to treat diseases in people. Could I ask a question of the panel based on the jellyfish? What are the good models for looking at ageing and why? 